Okay, so to make this necklace, you are going to need beads. So I have here four millimeter bikon, and then I have these butterfly beads. They are a three point two by six point five millimeter. And then you are also going to need to finish your necklace some larger beads I have this one here I believe they are 14 millimeter and for these smaller beads right here in between I have this 8.0 seed beads in addition to the beads you are going to need yarn. I am using Aslan bead cord from uh, Beadsmith. You are going to need a hook. Mine is a 1.75 millimeters. Um, you are going to need a big eye um, needle if you have one this would help uh, what else um, you are also going to need uh, glue so this is um, beading glue toothpicks um, always a good um, stuff to have a uh, jewelry plier this is a flat nose jewelry plier and scissors okay if there is something i forgot to mention i'm going to list it down below this tutorial so let me clear this off and get started okay, now thread your big eye needle with your uh, yarn with your thread and you are going to pick up beads the way you like i've already uh, picked one bacon bead so i'm going to put four more bacon beads so we are first going to string all of our beads that we want to use it's a little bit difficult to put them down So I have five icons followed by a butterfly bead and then I'm going to string again five icons. So five icons followed by a butterfly bead. So I'm going to string the rest of camera and then I'll meet you back once I have all this done. So go ahead and string um, your beads. Okay, so I put on a total of 89 beads. I've started with five bicons and I want to end up also with five bicons. Now leave um, a longer tail so you still need to attach those beads at the end and take your hook and make a slip knot pull tie and now bring your beads down go ahead and chain five so one and keep a tight tension so two three, 
four and five. Now take your first bead, in my case this is a bicon, and chain like so. And now you are going to chain three. One, two, and three. And take your next bead and chain around your bead like so. And then chain three again. One, two, and three. Your next bead and chain and again one two and three your next bit and again one two and three Bring your big bead down like so and chain. And again one, two, and three. And now I have my butterfly bead chain. So this is all you need to do till you have. Um, no beads left so I'm going to work the rest of camera and then meet you back to show you how to finish okay so one more bit to go and now you are going to chain five remember you've started with the chain five so chain five one two three four and five and now we are going to chain one more and leave a long tag so you can work with and pull through okay now we are going to string one eighth on this leftover right here see so one eighth one of your larger beads and again one eight o one of your larger beads and another eight o Now we are going to bring them down like so and we are going to tie a knot that sits right to your 8 o Now maybe you want to use your pliers to put your knot down. Now you are going to cut this thread right here and take your jewelry glue and I'm going to use a toothpick for this and just put some glue in there so I want to make sure that the knot that I've made, it's not going to come undone. Like so. And now go ahead and do the same on 
the other side I'm going to do this off camera and that's it it turned out beautiful I am very happy with the result so thank you all for watching and for joining me today for this very short tutorial I wish you all happy crocheting and till next time bye bye